Hey guys, it's Gold Wolf here. We're at St. Pete Air. We're gonna be flying a plane and shooting a video. Uh, make sure to click the link below so you can check it out. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go. Oh man. Yeah, never done this. Are you feeling nervous, babe? Uh, no, actually. I'm not either. I like this little thriller. Yeah, this is that's not 172. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's up, man? What do we got going on today, Dan? Okay, so today we're gonna take uh, take off from here. Uh, we're gonna go west our way mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go over the St. Pete Beach mm -hmm. and we're gonna go down to the Skyway Bridge uh, we're gonna just watch the sunset nice. and then we're gonna come back and then you know we have the most beautiful sunsets here in St. Pete but uh I've never seen one from a plane view I'm sure they're pretty badass huh yeah they're really good they're really cool. nice. I can't guess. I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it <laughs> Watch the speaker. I don't want the speaker in the shot. No, we have to check everything before we fly. We have to check everything that it's okay. So we're gonna check oil, uh, fuel, uh, that all the that everything is good to go. Um, are people normally nervous when you uh, go flying for the like when they go flying for the first time? Are people normally of course. Nervous? People is not used to fly in small planes, right? Right. This is not something like you do every time or every day or whatever. Uh, normally you go on the big ones and of course they think that this is a little bit more and safe and all that stuff. Yeah. But I would say it's the same thing because okay. as, 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 as long as we have the wings and the engine and everything running, that's all good. This is a small plane. Right, all work. Super small. Use the force! <laughs> oh, shoot! <laughs> Alright, so we're here with Mariah, aka Sweet. How you feeling? Good. Why are you feeling good and not nervous? Uh, because I've been skydiving before on a plane similar to this size. 13,000 feet in the air. I think today we're going about 1,200 feet, according to what Dan said. So. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna be seeing the beaches and the skyline, and it'll be cool. Catch the sunset. Some cool images here. Get Dan on video. She, she's cool. like, she's like, um, she's like a vegan. You know when you meet a vegan, and you say, "Hi, my name is so and so. I'm a vegan, by the way." They just have to tell you right away. That's her with her skydiving. <laughs> no, yeah. it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> no offense, vegans. I'm not hating on you. I'm just saying, man. When I first met her, she was like, "Hi, my name is Mariah." I skydived. <laughs> Isn't that how it happened? Not at all. Okay. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> go with that. Chops. He's busting my chops like he always does. <laughs> One and four, Zulu. Wind zero, four, zero. At one and one, marks. Density altitude, 1,700. You don't think? St. Petersburg, Wooded Airport. Automated weather observation. <laughs> The controls are yours. Oh, or mine. Okay. I'm not gonna t touch them. Okay. And this See, is actually how you steer. Yeah. Wow. And, you, and you just try, and then you go right, left, both. Both. If I say my controls, you leave it. You say your get controls, my, and I say get, my. Get control. my feet off of them, right? Perfect. Okay. Huh? Gotcha. Okay, Mariah, to open the door, you just lift the handle, okay. pull it back, and you go outside. Okay. If okay. something happens to me, do not try to help me. You just go and call for help. Okay. This is a procedure yeah, that I have to say. It's not no, gonna it. happen. Okay? You don't have um, like epilepsy or nothing? No, no, don't All worry. Right, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> the same not on that, that one. You just pull the, pull the lever, go yeah. and go, okay? okay? Okay. Where's the parachute? We don't have parachute. Oh. Uh, Where's the airbags? This part. Clear, bro! Prime. Okay.
Oh, that was fun, man. <laughs> yeah, it was, was smooth. Fun. Honestly, I was expecting um, some turbulence, but we didn't really feel anything. I know over there, have we seen the storm coming in? They're kind of concerned about it, but... Uh, shifted away and the wind stopped and it was almost like i said a little prayer i'm like god i want to fly so you know <laughs> and after i said that 10 minutes later everything cleared up so come on guys talk to god don't be afraid <laughs> it was awesome yeah yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely yeah. i was a little bit a little bit concerned about how like dan say uh it was a little bit windy at the, at the beginning before we take off and uh, but then wind went down it calm we had this beautiful and awesome uh, sunset and yeah. that was great. That was great. The skies were all kinds of colors. Yeah, it's starting to get lit up here. Yeah. Uh, we just landed. We Dan did. is a hell of a pilot. If anybody out there, yeah. anybody out there wants to go for a, um, a plane ride, yes. hit me up, hit Dan yes. up. Yep. We can make it happen, man. Absolutely. He's a good friend. Yes. It was smooth. It was fun. He did awesome. He landed perfectly. That's all that matters, It was right? a beautiful <laughs> sunset, all that. That was great. And Dan, what got you into flying anyway? Um, I would say since I was little, uh, I was always attracted like to the planes. My mom and my dad, they always take, uh, took us like to fly to another city. We used to live in another city from my grandma. So every time, every vacations, we would go on fly, uh, uh, flying to the other city. And I, every time I would like go over by the uh, cockpit, I would I would look at it and I was like, man, this is awesome. And every time a plane would fly by over my house, my mom would be like yelling, like, yeah, it's a plane, a plane. And we would like, we would, we would see, we would watch the plane flying. And then, yeah, I think that's, that's where it grew. And you said you started flying in Colombia. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's right. I, I started flying in Colombia almost six, seven years ago. Okay. Um, yeah, I was, I was in, a, in a search and rescue team over there. It's an aviation search and rescue team. And some of my uh, friends that were doing the, uh, the, the course, they were pilot or they were studying to be a pilot. And I just heard them talking about how, how awesome it was. And I was like, man, I want to do that. <laughs> so you did it, man. I got the, yeah, I got the courage and start doing it. One more question, man. Just yeah. curious. The first time you actually were in control and lifted off, was that nervous? Like, was it nerve wracking? I was like, man, I was shaking. I didn't know what to do. Uh, I was with the instructor and he was like, okay, you're, you you go go you feel it and I was like I could it was like a lot of emotions <laughs> uh, and at the same time I was like very scared of, of course I was happy I was anxious I was like everything at the same time uh, but yeah you I, I would say that the first times you fly or the, you're learning flying uh, it's gonna be like that because obviously you don't know what's gonna happen uh, it's in your mind is like okay if I if I make an error or if I like get up, <laughs> I'll I'll go down. So yeah, it's a little bit, it was a little bit scared. He's the guy right here, man. If anybody wants to go for a yeah. flight, this is your guy right here. I felt no nervous energy. I, I thought I'd be a little nervous when we were taking off and landing, but nothing. And uh, I think you can vouch for that too, right, sweet? Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. High five.